Praise the Lord. You are welcome in Jesus' name. I can see in you the glory of the Lord. You are welcome with the name of the Lord. You are welcome. Of Jesus, you are welcome with the name of the Lord. You are welcome. Oh, yes. Amen. I want you to take a little time to pray for your brother, pray for your sister here with you, standing by you that it shall be well with him. It shall be well with her. name we pray almighty father you have set before us a beautiful year and you are saying that it shall be well with us in the year before us in the year we are entering into wonderful it shall be well it shall be well thank you so much i therefore pass this information to my brethren and i say let their spirit receive this information i speak to your spirit what god has asked me to speak to your spirit it shall be well it shall be well it shall be well thank you heavenly father may your word confirm this in our hearts may the holy ghost confirm this in our hearts in Jesus name we pray thank you so much you can be seated it is as if God gave us assignment and we have carried it out successfully and he has come to reward us it is as if we wrote an exam and we passed the exams well and the lord is coming to celebrate our success amen i am announcing to you the coming year 
which we shall enter into now, you will celebrate. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. How, what have we really done that God is so happy and excited with us? Ask your brother. Ask him in a surprise. Ask your sister in a surprise. What? Why is God so excited? God is excited. God is happy. Hallelujah. And he's saying, I will open my storehouse. This is wonderful. In Jesus' name. In the book of Second Kings, Because I'm talking to you on it shall be well. And actually that's the promise of God. Believe it. it things will change automatically. In 2 Kings chapter 4 verse 22 and she called unto her husband and said send me I pray thee, one of the young men and one of the asses, that I may run to the man of God and come again. And he said, Wherefore wilt thou go to him today? It is neither new moon nor Sabbath. And she said, Everybody, it shall be well. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Then, verse 25. So she went and came unto the man of God to Mount Carmel. And it came to pass when the man of God saw her afar off that he said to Gehazi, his servant, Behold, yonder is that Shunammite. Run now, I pray thee, to meet her, and say unto her, Is it well with thee? Is it well with thy husband? Is it well with thy child? And she answered, Everybody, it is well. Wonderful. The Lord is telling me this. I should say to you, when somebody shall ask you concerning this year before us, is it well with this? Is it well with this? Is it well with that? You should answer that person according to this answer. Amen? Amen. It is well. It shall be well. Now, you do what I am saying. You look back. You look within. You look forward and say, it shall be well. Do it. Look back. Look within. Look forward. Amen. Amen. You look to the past years. Then you look to your heart now. Then look forward to the next year and declare it shall be well. Hallelujah. That is it. A story was told of a man who had a vision in which he had opportunity to look backwards to see his work through life as his footsteps on 
the sun on the seashore. He looked back. That's why you look back to see your walk through life to this day. Look back. That's what God is saying. And consider your walk through life until this day or till this day that's what god wants you to see yes in this way the scripture is saying ponder the path of your feet look back and check your footsteps. How have they gone? To this man that had this vision, the Lord gave him, to see his work through life, he noticed something. That they were not two footsteps, but four footsteps. Then he wondered, the man was a Christian, a child of God, a righteous man. He asked the Lord in the vision, uh, Why? I'm not only seeing two footsteps, I am seeing four footsteps. As I look back to my walk in life, I saw that it is four footsteps which means i was going with somebody i noticed everywhere i went uh, somebody was going with me but who could that be the lord said i never left you alone i walked with you i went with you the man said wonderful had i known this all the fears of my life in the years of my life in Christ, I would not have exercised them. So you were working with me? I didn't know. Then, looking diligently, backwards, that's what you're going to do. He noticed that there were some occasion or places he saw only two footsteps, which he believed were his own footsteps. He didn't see the other partner. Then he said, oh, he reasoned by himself, these were difficult moments in my life. Oh, the Lord left me and went somewhere. Oh, what, what could I have done to the Lord that he left me? I remember these were difficult times. No wonder. Then he turned to the Lord, Jesus, what happened that you left me at some points in life, giving me difficulties? What happened, Lord? The Lord laughed and said, Where you see two footsteps, they were not yours. They were mine. Uh -uh. Where was I? They were actually difficult moments that I had to lift you up and hold you with my hands. <laughs> Praise the Lord! That was for that man. But as for you, the Bible says in the book of Proverbs, chapter 4 verse 26 proverbs chapter 4 verse 26 ponder the path of thy feet and let all thy ways be established think over as you look backward remember i'm talking about i'm talking to you to look backward to consider your work of life. Please take time to examine 
the part of your feet, your work, true life. How was it? When you check your feet, the part of your feet, which places have you been to? Where did you see that you went to? Were those places good? Or were those places evil? Whom did you work with? Which company did you keep? True life. You are standing at a good point today. But it is good for you, physically now, not by vision, to check your feet. Where have you gone to all over this year? You went yourself. Somebody took you. Which places were you regularly going to? Ponder, think about it. The part of your feet. Again, consider your ways. Haggai chapter 1 verse 7. Haggai. Before the book of Zechariah. Chapter 1 verse 7. Thus see the Lord of hosts. Consider your ways. You consider. You judge your ways. How have your ways been in the past? In your walk in life, in your family, in your working place, even in church matters, in the things of God, how were, how were you? Check it out. If you are asked to evaluate yourself, how will you rate yourself? Consider. Consider. Faithfully judge yourself. Will you pass yourself? Will you score yourself? Or you will fail yourself? Consider your ways in the light of righteousness. In the light of love, Christian love, in the life of truth, living in truth, spoken in truth, doing the truth. What is your assessment of yourself? Consider your ways. Again, the scripture is saying, examine yourself. It's still the same language. In the book of 2 Corinthians, Chapter 13, verse 5. 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5. Examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves? How that Jesus Christ is in you, except ye be reprobates? Examine your own self. Are you in Christ or you are a reprobate? A hypocrite or a Christian? A sinner or a saint? Examine yourself. Even as you're sitting now, as you're standing now. Examine yourself. Where you are now, listening. Who are you? Are you having Satan by you? Walking with Satan. You have walked with him all over this year. You have walked with Satan. Or will you say you have walked with Jesus? Examine yourself. The Lord has given the judgment to you to do. He has not yet come. He said, you judge yourself. Let me say how honest because you have you still have chance to leave your honest judgment will attract god to you or i make god abandon you more and say this person is faulty even in judging himself in judging herself the truth is not being exposed 
now judge your own self examine yourself again commune with your soul it's still the same thing commune with your soul in the book of psalm 77 verse 6 psalm 77 verse 6 because you don't need to be in rush sit down take commune with your soul this man was even lying down on his bed psalm 77 verse 6 i call to remembrance my song in the night i commune with mine own heart and my spirit made diligent search i commune with my own heart and my spirit made diligent search be very sincere Sit down and think it over. How has your life been? How has your life been? Check well. Think it well. Think through. Sit down and think. Are you lying down? Think. Have, make a diligent investigation of yourself, of your ways. How have you worked with women? Have you worked clean? How have you worked with men? I'm talking about in the, in the past of your life. You are 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, even 80 and above. But then, how did you live? How has your life been? Did you steal? Did you lie? Have you been doing good? Have you been speaking words of truth? Are you a man dependable? Are people giving praise to God for you? Commune. Think over. Check the testimonies. Again, remember. It's still the same thing. Remember. Don't forget easily. Remember. In the book of Psalm 103, Psalm 103 is warning us against forgetfulness. Verse 1 and 2. Oh, verse 1 to verse 5. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities? Who healed all thy diseases? Who redeemed thy life from destruction? Who crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercies? Who satisfied thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles? Can you remember? Look backward. Do you see the kindness of the Lord in your life? Did the Lord show you kindness? Did the Lord show you mercy? Did the Lord do miracles in your life? Did he give you healing? Did the Lord give you deliverance? I mean, look backward. Check through your walk through life thus far. Where you, did the Lord forgive your sins? Did you at any time ask God for forgiveness of sins? Did you at any time promise God you would serve him? How was his response? How was also your response? Remember the goodness of the Lord. Remember answers to prayers. Remember the promises of God. Remember testimonies you have given about God. 
in your life. Don't look back. Look backward. Again, come to yourself. Come to yourself. It's still another expression meaning the same thing. It means you have been walking without really thinking clear. Your mind, you were not carrying your mind along. Something darkened your mind. But now, standing at this age, at this period of the year, please, and you're now going to the next year, come to yourself. It is time for reasoning. In the book of Luke chapter 15, Luke chapter 15 verse 17 talking about the prodigal son that left the father's house and when he came to himself he said how many hired servants of my father's have bread enough and to spare and I perish with hunger to yourself how old are you now and you are perishing year to year you not no change darkness has been before you you are not understanding you are famishing you are starving things are dry around you come to yourself you have used your wisdom all this while. Has your wisdom given you anything? Are you still going to go with your wisdom? Which fails? Which has been failing for all these years? This prodigal son made all effort to sustain himself in a far country. All effort to sustain himself out of his father's house. All effort to sustain himself in rebellion all effort but he must now he came to himself come to yourself wake up you have been in a dream all these years you are in a dream you are dreaming and it's a bad dream you are you are dreaming a bad dream come to yourself realize where how far you are Far away. Come to yourself. That is it. Think about your ways. Consider your ways. Ponder over your ways. Again, search the scriptures. What said the Bible concerning your present state? What does the Bible say concerning your present state? Does the Bible approve your state? Can the Bible say you have a better future by your present state? Is the Bible justifying you that well thou, thou good and faithful servant, enter thou into the year of the Lord? Is that what the word of God is saying to you? Or the Bible is saying something contrary? Knowing who you are, knowing your state, knowing your position, knowing your life, that you have been all after the wild wind. Look at it in Isaiah chapter 34. Isaiah chapter 34. I read verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read to know your life. For the word of God is a mirror. See your face. Bring your heart before the world. Bring your life before the world. Examine the walk through life to this day by the word of God, for it is a mirror. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of this shall fail. None shall want her maid. For my mouth it had commanded, and his spirit it had gathered them. 
what the Bible says about you now is true. If by your state the Bible says ye are condemned, that's perfect truth. Perfect. Perfect. If the word of God raises up a signal, a danger signal over you, and say, do something about your life, change now, otherwise the year before you is going to be dangerous. It is perfect truth. Go through the word of God and read. None shall fail. None shall want its equal. Because what the word, the word says here, there's another word to agree with it, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses, every matter should be established. Is the word justifying you and say, yes, my daughter, I've not seen anything wrong in your life. You have a good conscience. Good. Well done. Faithful Christian. Move forward. And it shall be well because the word says so. So, that's what we are saying. What do you see as you look backward? And in your own case, what do you see in your own case? You see your sins. You look backward. Can you count your sins? Then count the hairs of your head. As you look backward, what do you see? You see your wicked deeds. You see the things you have spread and the many nations you have gone in wickedness. The many cities you have gone to sow wickedness. The many human beings you have hurt. The many things you spoiled. Can we count the lies you told? Can we count the number of hotels you have gone to commit immorality? When you look backward in your own case, ah, you just knew that God was patient with you. For you to have arrived today is because there is a patient God. When you look at your own self, that he allowed you in your hypocrisy, with all this, you were playing hypocrisy for him, and the God was just watching you. This God is a patient God. Are you not seeing the patience of God? When you look back in your own case, what do you see? A mercy of God. It is not the will of God that any man should perish. You would have gone forth since. You would have been crying from over there, asking for a drop of water from hell he said this god is merciful that is what in your own case because of your sin when you look back what do you see the goodness of god that can still give food to satan that makes snakes to still eat that is how you see that god has shown you mercy the goodness of god that can still give you some things. You were able to have some kind, some good things of God. That God could still give you money with lies. He could still give you this. You were sick. He still healed you. The goodness of God. Everybody said the goodness of God. When you look back, what did you see? You see the judgment of God. Because many times judgment fell upon you and you knew that it was for my sin. It was for your sin. Ahab said, Has thou found me? Oh, my enemy. Elijah said, I have found you. For there's nobody that has sold himself unto wickedness like Ahab, whom Jezebel, his wife, has sold him for evil judgment of God you see ha, you see terror for the judgment of God because the soul that sinned it shall die you see fear you see fear what do you see then 
you ended up by seeing the guidance of God. That God guided your feet to this place. At the end of the year, when you are to move to the next year, the Lord guided your feet here. Everybody thank God for that. This is a good way. You see the guidance of God directing your feet to his presence because he has a purpose for your life he doesn't want you to enter the new year with corruption he doesn't want demon to go with you to the new year god is good the mercy of god personal love for you you see the love of god so you see i've talked to this person what he saw but to you, child of God. When you look backward, because I have said, look backward. When you look backward, what do you see? You see God's sufficient grace. My grace is sufficient for you. You really saw it. The grace of God was with you in all ways. The God, God was strengthening you, strengthening you in everything. Many a time, you were tired, you were weak, as if you were be, to be given up, as if you were surrounded, to be caught, yet grace manifested. You saw the grace of God. I'm talking to the child of God. What you saw when you look backward, what did you see? you saw the forgiveness of God that God forgave all your iniquity you call upon him and he answered and he forgave you and restored you he restored my soul you saw that even all these people you saw that you, there were times you made mistakes you spoke wrongly you took wrong action but the Lord showed you mercy the Lord forgive you. What, that's what you saw. As you look backward. What did you see? You saw the faithfulness of God. That God is dependable. That you didn't make a mistake. To choose God. You didn't make a mistake. To surrender to God. God is dependable. That is what you see as you look backward. What did you see? The goodness of God who satisfied your mouth with good things. Many times, as if food was to evade you, no food to eat, but food came. No money, money came. No this one, it came. No water, water came. No cloth, cloth came. No shoe, shoe came. You were just seeing that. The goodness of God. The goodness of God. When you look back, child of God, what did you see? You, saw, you see righteousness and holiness. That God kept you righteous. He leaded me on the path of righteousness for his name's sake. For his name's sake, no immorality. For his name's sake, you were not telling lies. You wondered how that happened. Yes, God met it. Even this anger that was plaguing people. No, God overcame it in your life. You saw grace. You saw righteousness and holiness. How God did it. It was miracle. Righteousness covered your life. That's what you saw. When you look backward, what did you see? Victories in Christ. Victory over Satan. Victory over demons. Victory over witchcraft. Witches and wizards. Victory over the enemy. Victory over poison. Victory over attacks. Victory over shame. Victory over war. For he that believeth in the Lord has overcome the world. He that is born of God 
overcome the world. You just saw that victory. Yes. What did you see? The promises of God. And you have held to the promises until this day. You have held to the promises. Child of God, those promises shall mature as you enter this year. I told you, it was as if we wrote an exam. And we're going in now to possess the result and the glory. It was as if we ran a course and succeeded. So we are now going to celebrate the year of celebration. The year of celebration. The Lord will fill your mouth with good things. The Lord will fill your mouth with good things. Now, see how we look backward and we, we, we have seen. Now, after we look backward, what sh where should we look again? We should look inward. We're not to look inside. That's what God is saying. Look inside. To the sinner. A look inward on his heart. Is for the following reasons. One. To prepare for the year ahead. That's for the sinner. You look backward. It, your back was dark and black. And fearful by the way you lived your life. But now the Lord said, Look inside. That darkness that is in inside you, the light of God shall shine there. Amen. The earth was covered with darkness. It was as the Spirit moved upon the waters that God said, Let there be light. And there was light. You are in the presence of God now. The Lord shall command the light to shine in your heart. So look inside and be ready for a transformation. Look inside you and be ready for regeneration. Look inside you and be ready for born again experience. Look inside you and be ready for reconciliation. Look inside you and be ready for your sins to be forgiven. Darkness to be taken away. Light shall shine into your heart in Jesus' name. A look inside is to remove the evil heart of unbelief. You didn't believe. You live a life of unbelief. But you had a heart of unbelief. Look at it in the book of Hebrews. Chapter 3. Hebrews. Chapter 3 verse 12. That was your problem. That was why you walked in darkness. Verse 12. Take heed, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God. The reason why you didn't walk with God is because you did not believe. You have a heart of unbelief. All the things they're saying, you say, you don't believe. I don't believe. I don't believe. I don't believe in Jesus. I don't believe that there's God. I don't believe that there's hellfire. I don't believe that what they're saying. I don't believe what the Bible is saying. I don't believe those testimonies. I don't believe. I don't believe. An evil heart. Look inside you. That evil heart will be taken away. Yeah. Evil heart of unbelief. Look diligently inside you. You will discover where, that the position of that heart, where it is. See it well. It's like somebody said, remove something from my eye. See it. You open your eyes and say, please, can you see? Do you know where it is now? Can you see? Yes, I can see. I can see. I can see. I can remove it now. So you will see that unbelief in your heart. It shall be removed in Jesus' name. Evil heart of unbelief. Yes, your look into your heart, sinner, is to give your heart over to Jesus. 
You're giving that heart. You're looking at that heart. Can you see through who told you? You have you can't everywhere is dark. You're giving it out to Jesus. You're handing over that heart to Jesus. And that's what you're going to do tonight. Because it is He that will cross you over. I say He is the one that will cross you over. Amen. Proverbs chapter 24. Proverbs. I read chapter 24, verse 26. Yes. It's chapter 23, please. Proverbs 23, verse 26. My son, give me thine heart and let thine eyes observe my ways. How can your eyes observe my ways except your heart is in my hand? So, give God that heart. Give God that heart. Take your heart. Look, in, look into your heart and remove it. And give it to God. Hand it over. And say, God, it is not in a man that liveth to control his heart. He has no power. The heart is deceitful and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Except it is given over to God. So, he said, give me. I will handle it for you. I will handle it. You know, if, maybe if you go to a hotel, some hotel, in case you have been there, they will tell you, do you have any valuable? Give us your valuable to keep for you. So that you won't say, somebody came and took it away from your room. Give us your valuable. God is saying, your heart is very important very valuable give me your heart so that satan will not take it away and turn it into blackness and darkness and wickedness and whatever give it to me so give god your heart that's what you're looking inside to give god your heart where should you look inside Look it, as you're giving God, you are collecting a heart from God. A new heart also will I give you. <laughs> God is going to give you a new heart. Yeah. God will give you a new heart. Yeah. God will give you a new heart. Yeah. You who don't know how to think good thoughts, you will think good thoughts because the heart the Lord is going to give you is the heart that thinks good thoughts. You will find problem with loving people. You will love freely now because the heart that God is going to give you will be the heart that loves people. You, that heart, terrible anger that you have been passing through, the heart that God is giving you now is a heart that anger cannot rule over it. Yeah. Hallelujah! Yeah. In Ezekiel chapter 36 Ezekiel chapter 36 the Bible tells us there in verse 26 he says a new heart also will I give you and a new spirit will I put within you and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh and I will give you an heart of flesh a heart that is soft you know this obedience this lust greed pride is because of the corruption of that heart of your heart but god says give me your heart i'm going to work on it it shall become a new heart a new heart i will transfer to you this heart will not be a wicked heart anymore this heart is not going to be doing people evil 
this heart is not going to be exercising anger 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 no backbiting back no 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 a new heart everybody say a new heart say it again say it again new heart altogether that's what look inside we're dealing with the heart now we're dealing with this center of life focus on it because a change is coming there i say a change is coming there yes what he wants to fill your heart with the, with great love for god and love for your neighbor you will just love god you will be laughing and smiling at god the ways of god will be fine to you you were running away before now but this heart he's going to give you you will run to god he will you will run look at it mark chapter 12 verse 30 and 31 and thou shalt love the lord thy god with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind and with all thy strength this is the first commandment and the second is like namely this thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself there is none other commandment greater than this god is going to make your heart a heart of love people will start enjoying you whereas people criticized you ran away from you tacked you a wicked person now there's going to be a reverse praise the lord a new heart is coming to you hey as if it is in my hand here to throw to you you will catch <laughs> amen i should throw it to you you will catch it i should throw the hand it's god that will throw it down from heaven remember catch it it is, it is coming from god receive it a new heart new heart praise the lord that's why he said look in look in look in what you will receive the power to maintain the holy life yes your life will be pure and holy holiness will be very simple that's why he said look into the heart in the book of matthew chapter 5 verse 8 matthew chapter 5 verse 8 the bible tells us saying blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see god your your heart will be pure i say your heart will be pure your heart will be pure then you will see the lord Amen. Amen. Blessed are the pure in heart. Very simple. Very simple. A heart that is not angry, doesn't have malice in it, doesn't have hatred in it, doesn't have lust in it, doesn't have greed in it. A, a heart that loves a heart that is gentle a heart that is humble a heart that is kind a heart prepared to see the lord so that is why the lord is saying to the sinner look inside Pre to prepare for the year ahead don't walk in the way you have been walking don't enter rashly and continue with your oppression they are oppressing you you're oppressing others they are suffering you you're suffering others don't continue with that lie just don't enter like that and be and remain an agent of satan and be spilting blood pouring blood of human being innocent blood abortion blood witchcraft and wickedness 
don't enter into that year that way enter it new make up your mind you will settle with god now and enter in where you have looked backward you have looked inside what about the child of god look inside because the lord is going to make a declaration for your tomorrow that's why look inside yes believer look within in your heart to ensure one that you you are fit you are fully prepared for the year ahead as you make your bed you will lie on it check that bed is it dressed or ruffled check it do you still maintain that bread dressed or you have forgotten to dress your bed so check your heart believer is it still okay clean prepared for the year ahead with jesus is it ready for the normal life normal world that's why the lord said look in again make sure you maintain faith in christ check up look in is there faith in christ are you still holding to your faith are you believing god or you concerning faith you have become a you are becoming a reprobate becoming faith uh, concerning faith now you're murmuring you're murmuring you're complaining you're doubting no check it out hebrews chapter 10 hebrews chapter 10 i read yes chapter 10 verse 27 i mean 37 to verse 39 for yet a little while and he that shall come will come and will not tarry now the just shall live by faith but if any man draw back my soul shall have no pleasure in him but we are not of them who draw back unto perdition but of them that believe to the saving of the soul that's what we're saying I hope your faith is still strong in Christ. Man of God, I hope you are still standing strong despite the challenges of the enemy. Despite the attacks. Is your faith strong? Check. Check it. Look inside. Are you still seeing your faith strong in Christ? Is Christ still sitting in that house, in that heart? the ruler of the heart check it out because to withdraw concerning faith is to perish to find offense concerning the faith of christ is to perish and we are not of them that withdraw unto perdition but those who continue to the saving of our souls are you continuing is that faith still there are you entering this year with the faith that's why the lord said look in look in because it, it, the journey continues the journey continues in whichever state whatever is the challenge so look inside again look inside your heart and ensure it is pure and holy remember in hebrews chapter 12 verse 14 follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the lord follow peace with all men is your heart agitated is your heart offended 
Is your heart fighting somebody? Is your heart restless? Because of some sin, because of some problem with some people, have they offended it? Or have your heart become rough as to ill treat somebody? Check it out between you and your wife. How is your heart towards her in the offense of life? How is your heart towards the children? Check it towards your husband. In the carelessness and rejection of life. Check it. Are you still calm in heart? Peaceful in heart? Holy in heart to see the Lord? That's why the world says, look inside. Believer, look inside you. Again, why are you looking inside? To ensure you are increasing in love. Your love should be increasing. Love should be increasing. First Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 12 to 13. First Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 12 to verse 13. And the Lord make you to increase and abound in love one toward another. And toward all men, even as we do toward you. To the end, he may establish your hearts, unblameable in holiness before God. Even our Father, at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, with all the saints. The Lord, are you increasing? In love by the supply of grace, by the strength of the Lord, that you are hard to be offended because you have much, you have much space in you. Love has extended your heart. Love has enlarged your heart. Your heart is getting enlarged that the enemy cannot easily attack it. You are difficult to be offended. May the Lord increase your love. It is in this way your patience level will grow. Because patience is in love. It is in this way your humility will increase. For love is not proud. As your love level is growing, so also your patience level, your humility level, your endurance level, all is growing along. So check up in your heart. Look at it. Are you growing in love? Again, where are you to look inward? Have you maintained victory over sin and Satan? See the world and its pollution. See immorality on the screen, on the billboards, and on the physical men and women on the streets, in the market, in schools, in offices, everywhere even in vehicles, everywhere. Are you overcoming these things? Have you mastered Satan? Sin, to the point that Satan can do nothing. He cannot, there's nothing he can do. So, look inside. Or oh, is there any sin sitting somewhere there? That's what the Lord is telling the believer. Look in. Again, check it to ensure. Let's look at it there. Check it to ensure that you are fervent in spirit, serving the Lord, or your zeal is dying. Your prayer life is dying. Your devotional life with God is dying. Your evangelism life is dying. Child of God, check it out. 
because it is in the heart the heart is losing its vision the bible says without vision where no vision is what happened the people perish it, the vision comes from the heart if the heart has lost its own prayer potentials prayer energy prayer vision it will happen like that you will become weak so check up look at it in the book of romans chapter 12. romans chapter 12 verse 11. the bible tells us saying not slothful in business fervent in spirit serving the lord check up are you are you now slothful are you weak are you slothful lazy slumbering check up you are entering the new year and the lord said check up look in because the lord is going to make declaration look into yourself look inward again check to ensure you remain steadfast in hope of his coming steadfast in hope of the lord's coming steadfast your hope of jesus coming in first john chapter 3 verse 1 to 3 behold what manner of love the father had bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of god therefore the world knew us not because it knew him not beloved now are we the sons of god and it does not yet appear what we shall be but we know that when he shall appear we shall be like him for we shall see him as he is and every man that had this hope in him purified himself even as he is pure make sure this hope of the rapture stands strong in you that you are going we are living maybe it's this year we are entering into now now that the things we are counting them in seconds we cannot tell again we cannot tell again maybe it's this year that we are entering into now therefore strengthen your hope of expectation of the lord's coming now can you see what the lord has said look backward you look backward you saw the other man saw his state and said i will hand over to jesus because as i looked backward it was darkness but the other one saw his state and said I have lived well. I've seen myself. I am all right with God. God has given me a pass. He said, I could enter the new year happily. The other woman looked backward. She saw that no, she must plead for mercy, for a change of life. Because looking at herself, she knew she felt and she is not ready to carry Fedua into the next year because what if she dies the next year it will mean hell so she doesn't want to go in that way then the other sister too look at her case i said praise god i have maintained a righteous heart a righteous heart good then i say to you who wants to settle with the lord settle with him because the year we are entering into in the next 30 seconds 
is going to be the year of celebration the lord is going to create special rings upon his children the lord is going to pour wonderful rewards upon his children the lord is going to pour prosperity upon his children i mean the year that we're entering into in the next 20 seconds i'm telling you if you want to settle with jesus settle with him are you hearing if you want to settle with jesus settle with him quickly because we're entering into a new year a year of draw 2020 i am telling you we are entering into it now that year my brother our feet is entering into it gradually my sister we're entering into it gradually we are in a new year praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah celebration 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 divine celebration the lord will celebrate with his children the lord will celebrate with his children the lord will celebrate with his children the year of celebration the year of celebration we shall celebrate the lord will celebrate with you the lord will celebrate with you jesus will celebrate with you he will celebrate with his church glory to his name glory to his name hallelujah hallelujah praise 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 the lord hallelujah glory give a cup of to jesus it's a year you will celebrate it's a year you will celebrate jesus you, we will celebrate jesus we will celebrate jesus we will celebrate jesus glory to his name he will pour his goodness upon our lives he will pour his goodness upon our lives glory 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 hallelujah praise the lord i will enter his gate with thanksgiving in my heart i will enter his court with praise i will say this is the year that the lord has made i will rejoice for he has made me glad he has made me glad I will enter, I will enter his presence with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his court with praise. Praise the Lord. I will say, This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Ha 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 la la. He has made me glad, he has so glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Ah, he has made me glad. I say I am so glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. I will enter, I will enter his presence with thanksgiving in my heart i will enter his court with prayer praise the lord i will this is the year this is the year that the lord has made i will rejoice for he has made me glad i am so glad he has made me glad i am so glad 
I will rejoice for he has made me glad. glad. He has made me glad. Oh, I am so glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Amen. Now, let me tell you what the Lord said he would do this year. Praise the Lord. You can sit down now. Wonderful. Look forward. Are you looking forward? Yes. Celebration. Yes. You will celebrate. Yes. You will celebrate. Yes. Because the way the Lord, I'm, I, I, I'm asking a question. Ask your brother again. We have come into the year now. What, what did we do to Jesus? That he says he will celebrate with us. Hey! Wonderful. Ha! What did you do to him? Ask her. Ask your sister. He will celebrate with you. Praise the Lord! <laughs> Praise the Lord! Yeah. Now, we have looked backward. We have looked inward. To strengthen our heart in Christ. Now we are looking forward. We are looking forward. You are free to look forward. You have settled with Jesus. Look forward with confidence. Because the Lord has said, Tell them it shall be well. It shall be well. It shall be well. It shall be well. Now, this year, if whatever is the situation, if somebody asks you, eh, what is going to happen? Where? What will you say? If you are going somewhere and you are going to receive something there and as you are going, somebody says, where are you going? Do you think you will get it? What are you going to say? Now, if somebody comes to you and says, do you know the trouble? These people are making trouble again. Oh. In fact, we have dreamed a dream. And you know in this dream, you were the one who saw the cut of your neck. What will you say? It shall be well. This year it shall be well. Hallelujah. That's what the Lord said. In the book of Isaiah chapter 10, chapter 3, verse 10. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 10. The Bible tells us what I should say to you that have made yourself righteous. Have made yourself clean and holy. Say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with him. For they shall eat the fruit of their doings. You have been doing, you have been doing, you have been doing. You will not be eating, you will not be eating, you will not be eating. Praise the Lord. Do you know what God is saying? I'm telling you, this is wonderful. See, in Psalm 32 verse 8, what God is going to do this year, in this year? Hey, wonderful. This is wonderful. Hey? Psalm 32 verse 8, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine arm. The Lord is going to guide you. Amen. The Lord is going to direct you. Amen. You will not fall again. Amen. You will not miss your target. <laughs> you will not miss your target. Amen. You will not miss the answer. Amen. You will not fail. Amen. Because he said, 
he will he will instruct you you will not be a fool you know the other time you were a fool that you you didn't understand you were foolish that's why they cheated you but wisdom is coming upon your life i will guide you with my eyes see what the lord is saying in the book of deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 6 deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 6 this is wonderful the lord has posted some special angels already they are standing by your side they in fact ready to move to move with you they are taking you forward those angels he promised have come angels for the year angels for the year hallelujah deuteronomy 31 verse 6 he said be strong and of a good courage fear not nor be afraid of them them be they muslim them kidnappers them assassin them whichever people for the lord thy god he it is that doth go with thee he will not fail thee nor forsake thee don't fear anymore now if they say hey these people have prepared they say in this friday after they come from their mosque tell them that nothing is coming up from any mosque anywhere yeah. hallelujah <laughs> because the lord is the one going with us in the year yeah. do you know something <laughs> i say do you know something god god entered into this year and walked through january to the to the end to december of this year and prepared the road it prepared remove the blockade remove some stones pull down some mountains clear the way build bridge listen I, you're not understanding what i'm saying now he had already gone to this year before us he walked January to December. He built bridge across some waters. He removed some rocks. He built wonderful. He planted flowers. <laughs> he has finished it. So he is now taking us through the year he has already finished finish preparing for us look at what the bible says in verse 8 and the lord he it is that don't go before thee he will be with thee he will not fail thee neither forsake thee fear not neither be discouraged he has prepared the year he went before us into the year january to december and pre prepared it and said my children come let's go yeah. hallelujah yeah. we are following the road that he has already made yeah. our lord has known the year he has settled the year ahead of us he has settled it for you yeah. don't fear don't fear. can you promise that you will never fear yeah. promise 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 i will not fear what can man do to me what can any religion do to me what can any assassin do to me what can any kidnapper do to me my god has prepared the year he has come through it he settled it amen yes now it, this is wonderful Look at it in the book of Isaiah 54, verse 16 and 17. Isaiah 54, verse 16 and 17. See what, see, my brother. He said, Behold, I have created the smith that blow with the coals in the fire 
and I bring it forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. The Lord is telling you that he's the owner of Satan. He is the owner of witches and wizards. He is the owner of assassins, armed robbers. In fact, he's the owner of snakes and scorpions. Are you hearing? But he said, even those instruments they use, those instruments, if he owns them, does he not own the instruments? But he has never given them any instrument to hurt you. If they go to manufacture any, it shall not work. It shall not work. And that's why he said in verse 17, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. No weapon, gun, bullet, spear, arrow. Your name is not attached to them. And so they will not come. No weapon. Then he said, God himself knows that some people are very stubborn. These people have not sent them, but they run. He said, for those people that want to transgress and just run to come and hurt you. He said, he said, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. Power is in your hand. Power is in your hand. Anybody that wants to hurt you, release the power. How do you release the power? Can you give me those five letters? Can you? Yes. 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 Jesus. Jesus. By the time you call that name, the things have been scattered into pieces. Every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. If they take you to court, God will go with you. He said, You are the reason why you condemn is because He gave you authority. Their righteousness is of me. I permit them to do it. So don't feel guilty. Will you blow down something? Don't be feeling guilty. You hear me? By the time you use the name of Jesus and you blow down some things. Don't feel guilty. God justifies you. Your righteousness, it is, he gave it that power. He gave it that power. Where did they, <laughs> who, who, who told them? Eh? It is, Samson went and killed the Philistines. And then his people were saying, ah, where did you do that? Uh, where did they take away my wife? For what? <laughs> they took away my wife. That's why he went and killed them. Anybody who challenges your peace, any power that challenges your peace, any force that challenges your peace, thou shalt, thou shalt. Hallelujah. I say, Hallelujah. When you speak the word only, it shall be done. Amen. Amen. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, against principalities. You just deal with Satan. Everybody that carries that Satan will be in trouble. That's what the Lord is saying. Yes. And he said, you will be a beautiful person. This year, hey, I will be seeing people. You, you are one of them. When you shall drive your car inside this campground. Hey. Ah! Listen. Many closed businesses that have been closed will be rising up. Many of our brethren shall receive government appointment. Yeah. 
employment to special places. Receive. You want it? Go there. Simple. Do you want it? Go there. Do you want? Go there. What do you want? Take. I say what Jesus shall be doing to us this year. <laughs> Listen to what he said in Revelation. Chapter 3. Revelation. Chapter 3. Huh? The Lord is going to do wonders. Verse 8 to verse 11. Revelation chapter 3. Verse 8 to verse 11. The Bible tells us, saying, I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not. But do lie, behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. The Lord has opened the gate. Move. The Lord has opened the gate. Enter. Possess. Enter. Enter. Possess. Possess. Enjoy. Enjoy. Receive glory. Receive. Let the Lord crown you. Take the crown. Take the crown. Be blessed. Receive the blessing. Receive. Hey. Salutation upon your life. Salutation upon your life. It shall be well with you. It shall be well with your family. It shall be well. Open door. Open door. All those places that say holiness movement will not come. We have come there. We are there. The door has opened. The door has opened. In Jesus' name. Mm. Hey. What happened? What happened to their church? Something struck the door of their church. It got open. I'm seeing crowd coming over to holiness movement. Hallelujah! Crowds are coming here. I say crowd. Holy name move everywhere. They're coming. They're coming. They who are in the synagogue of Satan. The Lord is bringing them here. The Lord is bringing them. They will worship here. They will worship under the feet of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. The power of the Lord shall accomplish it. The zeal of the Lord shall perform it. The thing they've crossed their door, God opened that door. Their elders are coming. Their women fellowship, they are coming here. Hallelujah! Mighty open door. This is what the Lord has done. And do you know, he said, my grace is sufficient for you. You will do it. Yeah. Are you going to be able to carry out that great function? You will be able. Yeah. Eh? Come. This money that is coming to you. It's not a small money. Somebody say you are not able to manage that money. You can manage it. 
I can do all things through Christ that strengthened me. My grace is sufficient for you. In that appointment that is coming, you will perform well. Look at it in the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 12, verse 9. 2 Corinthians, chapter 12. I read verse 9. The Bible says, And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Come. You know, you find some stones in, in some streams and water. You see them, some stones in the bedrock. You see sometimes, or in some seasons, the rain became so heavy that you do not see those stones again. Has it happened like that? This, uh, this uh, bridge that you cross from Guagualada here, what, the rain was so heavy that you can fetch water. You can start stand on the bridge and touch water. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? By reason of the strength the Lord is sending to you, your weaknesses shall not be seen. Yeah. Hallelujah! Yeah. All your weaknesses, your infirmities, all those things people are saying, eh, you are like this, you are like that, they shall not see those things anymore. Yeah. My grace! The grace of the Lord! The grace! of the Lord will cover those things. Get ready. Another one. Another one. The one that is coming now you will fly. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You know, during the uh, conference, the Lord said he will help people to do their restitution. Did you hear it? He said he will supply. He's happy that he will help people to live the holy life. Did you hear? Yes. Now, listen. Heaven, the, the space provided have increased. Hallelujah. Amen. Because your name has entered also among the people going to heaven. The space has increased. The space has increased. The space has increased. Your name is there. Your name is in. It has entered there. You are going heaven. Hey. Heaven. You will be there. You will be there. Hey. Hey. Hey, 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 hallelujah. Hey, come, come. Who is more honorable than the man that made heaven? Start congratulating them. Shake them with congratulation. Congratulate her. She's going to heaven. Congratulate him. He is going to heaven. Very honorable. The honor of God is on your life. The honor of God is on your life. Hey. Hey! <laughs> Yay! Congratulations! Glory to our God! Congratulations! The honor of God! People that have been redeemed, that have made it, your name is there. Your name is there. There is a space for you. Your name, you have entered into heaven. Your name is among those people. Yes! In John chapter 14, verse 1 to verse 3, let not your heart be troubled. 
Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you into myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. Amen? Amen. Yes. The Lord is saying, Daughter, don't worry. Don't fear my coming next year. If I come, you are going with me. My son, I rejoice to see faithful people like you. Don't mind the doubt Satan is putting in your heart. Many people were plagued with doubts, but I came and carried them. I said, that doubt, the doubt is just a cloud that is blocking the sun, but the distance between faith and the cloud is very far. Because the distance between the sun, which is faith inside you, and the cloud that is down near the earth is too far. So that cloud is set and it cannot affect your faith. Your faith is strong. If they hear that, if you hear the trumpet, my son, I will open your ears. You will hear the trumpet. Hallelujah! Amen! 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 Glory to God! Jesus, thank you, my Lord. Ha! So, that is it. If Christ comes in the rapture, in the next year, we are going with him. Don't fear, it shall be well. If death, if death comes, in the next year, by any means, we are going to heaven. Don't fear, it shall be well. If Satan comes, by any means, for any attack, you will win. Don't fear, it shall be well. If promotion, prosperity and progress come in great quantity and amount upon your life, don't fear, you will not fall. It shall be well. If any challenge comes to you in life, don't fear it shall lift you up. It shall be well. If, if, if God calls you into the ministry and increases you and gives you more privilege, more open door, don't fear that you will fall. No, a greater anointing shall come upon you. It shall be well. Yes, in all your desires, in all the works of your hand, as we have entered into this year, it shall be well. It shall be well. It shall be well. Rise up and worship Him. Worship the Lord. It shall be well. It shall be well. Tell the Lord. You believe the Lord. It shall be well. It shall be well. The Lord shall pour down grace. He shall pour down grace. We will celebrate this year with Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name. It shall be well. It shall be well. It shall be well. Amen.
Jesus' name we pray. When I remember his promises, I shout hallelujah. When I remember his promises, I shout hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Savior. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, Savior. When I remember, when I remember, I shout hallelujah. When I remember, when I remember, I shout hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Savior. When I remember his promises, I shout hallelujah. When I remember his promises, I shout hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. I say hallelujah, Savior. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen, hallelujah, Savior. When I remember his coming again, I shout hallelujah. When I remember his coming again, I shout hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Savior. Believe it shall be well. Believe in the Lord it shall be. It shall be well. Believe it shall be well with you. You believe in the Lord, it shall be well. It shall be well. It shall be well. It shall be well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Believe it shall be well with you. You believe in Jesus, it shall be, it shall be well. Hallelujah. It shall be well. In 
the new year. In the new year. You shall reap it. shall bless you believe it shall be well with you you believe in Jesus it shall be it shall be well Hallelujah. It shall be well. Believe it shall be well with you. You believe in Jesus. It shall be. set of people that looked back and saw that they must settle with Jesus before they, they will have a good walk through this year. Can you raise up your hand? You are in the first set of people. I want to pray for you and, and connect you. Ask your sins to be forgiven. I need to pray that God will cleanse you. Can you come forward here? The first set of you look back, you say, no, I need Jesus. I need to settle it. Because I won't enter this way, in this, this sinful life. No, I don't need it. I need to be a, a Christian, born again, righteous, clean. Jesus. Jesus. I need to live a righteous life, free from sin, free from immorality, free from evil. I need, to in, I need to settle with Jesus. I want Jesus into my life. I want to settle with him. I don't want to be a pickpocket anymore, a thief. I don't want to join the cult again. No, I don't want to be a witch. I don't want to be a wizard. I don't want to be an alcoholic. No, I don't want it anymore. I don't want to join evil gang. I want to live a new life. Be telling Jesus about it. Make a promise you won't go back to your sin. Let him change you. Let him... Let him Give him your heart. Give him. Lord Jesus, I give you my heart. You ask for my heart. I give it to you. I need a new heart from you. Tell him you need a new heart. Tell him you need a new heart. I will give you a new heart. I will give you a new heart. Collect it. Collect a new heart from Jesus. Collect a new heart from Jesus. I will give you a new heart. I will take away the evil heart out of your flesh. So, ask Jesus to take it away. Ask Jesus to take away the evil heart. He should remove it. He should remove it. Lord Jesus, walk in their lives. Lord Jesus, change their lives. Lord Jesus, take away the evil heart from them. Jesus, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it, Lord Jesus. Change them. You can do it. You can do it, Lord Jesus. You can do it. You can do it. Close your eyes and be praying. Tell Jesus to take away the evil heart. Let him take away the evil heart. Out of your life. And give you a new heart. A new heart also will I give you. And a new spirit will I also put within you. I will take away the evil heart out of your flesh. 
tell the Lord to take away evil take away sin Jesus Jesus call on him call on him call on him let him take it away call on Jesus let him take away your sin let him take away your sin let him take away your evil love let him give you a new heart a new heart a new heart receive a new heart from him a new heart also will I give you a new heart also will I give you I will take away the evil heart I will take away the evil heart I will take away the evil heart out of your flesh I will give you a heart of flesh I will give you a heart of flesh to keep my word to follow my word to keep my law heart of flesh heart of flesh you will keep my law you will keep my law you will keep my law a heart of flesh a heart of flesh you will keep my law receive a new heart receive a new heart receive a new heart receive a new heart a new life from Jesus a new life from Jesus a new life from Jesus let him change you let him change you let him change you open your mouth open your mouth and pray let Jesus change you let him change your life tell him to do so tell him to take it away a new heart a new heart will I also give you a new heart will I also give you a new spirit I will put inside you you'll be a child of God you'll be a child of God worship I plead the blood of Jesus upon your lives I plead the blood of Jesus upon your souls I plead the blood of Jesus upon your souls Jesus 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 receive him into your heart receive Jesus into your life Jesus receive him receive Jesus receive Jesus enter into the year with joy New life, new life. Ask for, ask and receive. He that asks will receive. He that asks will receive. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus name we pray lay hand upon your heart that heart Jesus is taking it he's going to give you a new heart In Jesus name we pray repeat this prayer after me Lord Jesus I give you my heart take my heart and give me a new heart a heart that fears the Lord a heart that loves the Lord a heart that will follow you Lord Jesus change my life 
Change my life. I will not sin again. I will serve you, Jesus. I will serve you, Jesus. I reject Satan. I am for you, Jesus. Save me, Jesus. Save me, Jesus. You are my Lord. You are my Savior. Jesus. 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 I'm praying for you. Almighty Father, your word is true. God, you are coming to bless your children this year. You promised it. You are still confirming it. You don't bless sinners. This ones want you to forgive their sins. They want you to receive them. To be your sons and daughters. Amen. Oh Lord. You know those who are serious. There's no savior anywhere. They cannot save themselves. Hear their prayers. Amen. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Set them loose from the devil the power of Satan in their life. Amen. Drive away Satan from their life. Amen. Oh Lord, take over them. Amen. Take over. Amen. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Let change come upon them. Amen. Let the power of change come upon them. Amen. Wherever they commit sin, on top of trees, on mountains, inside caves inside the water wherever on stones on rocks on the wayside get them forgiven in jesus name let a new spirit as you have promised come upon them in jesus name Pour your healing also upon them. In Jesus' name. You have done it. Child of God, do you know God has answered? Very simple. It shows he has been waiting for you. Keep thanking him now. Thank him. He has answered. Thank him. Jesus has done it. Jesus has done it. He has been waiting for you. So it's not difficult for him to forgive your sins. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so happy. You just forgave them. Hey, this is wonderful. Maintain your salvation. The Lord has forgiven you. Maintain it. Don't go back to sin anymore. Don't go back to sin anymore. Go and do your restitution. Any property of Satan. Charm, rings, or earrings. Go and remove those things. You are now for Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus has done it. In Jesus' name, you are saved. In Jesus' name, your name is in the book of life.